as far as my child, um, it's it's really going to be difficult to share with him what we're going to do next year. We we don't know. Dozens of parents and community members left West High Somber after the Salt Lake City School District School Board voted in favor of closing four elementary schools in the district. The Hawthorne. Riley, Emlyn Benyon, and Mary W. Jackson Elementary, as well as adjusting the boundaries of 14 others after this school year. We have reiterated throughout this entire process that we're not opposed to closing schools. What we, what we said from the beginning was you're closing the top rated Blue Ribbon School. And the legislative audit asked you to replicate top schools. During the meeting's public comment, parents asked the board to table the decision, citing community concerns about the lack of transparency in the process. You won't have to make an unsupported, genera generationally significant decision. And parents won't have to feel like we were swindled. Tabling would give you a chance to get this right and show the kind of thoughtfulness and oversight that we appreciate and expect. We have carefully and fully followed the G5 policy, which is the board's policy on school closure and boundary adjustments. Salt Lake City School District Superintendent Dr. Elizabeth Grant supported moving the school closures forward, saying this puts the district in a position to provide the best education for its students. To have more schools than we need is not good for student learning, is not good for teacher collaboration and is not good for providing the full supports to our students. As the Salt Lake City School District expects to continue to see their enrollment decline, Dr. Elizabeth Grant expects more school closures in the future. I hope they get it right next time. It's unfortunate that we uh, are the recipients of the not right process. We look at that process, we talk with the community about what they want to have as the metrics, but I want the community to know I have not yet heard an alternative that is more fair because it always lands harder on some people than others. The Salt Lake City School District plans for students to transition into their new schools this fall with the support of the district. Last year, the district also announced that equivalent employment opportunities will be offered to staff at the schools chosen for closure. In Salt Lake City, I'm Darian DeBrule, Fox 13 News, Utah.